chat view all chatbot tutorial hello and welcome to our channel on this video i'm going to show you how you can use chat fuel chatbot so please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial and to create an account on chat fuel chatbot you could also use my affiliate link below the description where in a small commission at no additional cost to you and by using the link you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up but before that if you don't know what is chat fuel it is a leading marketing and sales platform that enables businesses to create ai powered chatbots for various messaging channels including whatsapp instagram facebook and websites and these chatbots automate customer support, improve customer experience, and enhance sales by responding to and sending messages in real-time 24-7. And users can create chatbots using templates or build them from scratch using ChatFuel's drag-and-drop builder. And the platform also integrates with various services such as Stripe, Calendly, Sapier to streamline workflows and automate tasks. And now to start using this platform, you can also click the Start Free Trial button on the top right corner in which by simply clicking on it, all you need to do is to sign up and after signing up, you will be directed on this dashboard of chat fuel. And from here, all you need to do is simply fill out all of the required information by simply answering their question starting where will you use automation. And I'm going to select Facebook, then proceed what does your business primarily do. I'm going to choose to sell products, but also depends on your preferences in here. And also which e-commerce platform do you use. And in this option, I'm going to choose the Shopify. And what kind of products do you sell? We have here consumer, electronics, automotive, home and garden, sports and recreation and many more. And what e-commerce operation do you want to automate? We have here social media ads, which I'm going to select. So basically from this page, all you need to do is simply answer some of their question given the option below here. And aside from that, you also need to enter here your phone number. Then just proceed by clicking the next step button in here. Then you will be directed on this page and from here all you need to do is to simply connect your facebook page and start listing e-commerce sales and in this pop-up window just simply click this connect button below here to proceed and upon clicking on it all you need to do is to simply select your facebook account and choose the business page that you want to connect upon clicking connect or connecting your facebook page business you'll be directed on this page right here in which the next step is to simply choose the right plan for you if you're a startup small business and growing business plan but if you want to skip this part just click the skip or now button right here and now we'll now be able to be directed on this dashboard of chat fuel in which on the left side panel it will show you a variety of options that you can start navigating with your home automation live chat people re-engage configure analyze billing and many more and now on the home page from here it will show a variety of data including the number of your bot subscribers your teammates and many more and now from here to start creating an automation just click this automation on the left side panel and it will show you on this pop-up window that you could also start choosing a template for instagram facebook and even website but i'm going to choose facebook then below here it will show you a variety of templates including answer faqs quality leads facebook ads collect feedback and many more or you could also start from scratch if you want to and in those options i'm going to click this create blank flow and upon clicking on it we will be directed on this page in which it will show us in here our starting flow but firstly we need to choose an entry point in here we have here bot link like the message which is copy and paste code or manual setup and any other kind of entry point in here but i'm going to go back in this page and i'm going to give it that way which is the starting of our flow and to add more flow just click this plus button right here and click add messenger flow in which upon clicking on it we will be able to see our additional flow that we can connect if a specific action has been triggered and I'm choosing an entry point, which is we have here Facebook shops, Facebook page, and many more. And I'm going to choose this Facebook page by clicking on it. You will now be able to see that we have here under Facebook page. And you could also zoom in or zoom out and even drag each flow in here to organize. For instance, under Facebook page, we have here frequently asked question. And by clicking this button, add FAQ option from here, you could also simply add some of the question that can be frequently asked on your shop or on your Facebook page. So as you can see, I'm going to enter here. This question, is this product available? And if that kind of question has been asked by other customer, we could also connect the flow or the action that we will do if that question has been asked. But before that, let's start first by adding another FAQ option, which is delivery updates. So after that, we'll now be able to have two options in here. And we can firstly connect this by dragging it to this point in here. So the arrow is now connected in here or the other flow so basically under this flow we could also add 
or content or the possible action that you will do. You cannot hear a content block such as text, typing, image, video, audio, and many more. But I'm going to choose this text plus buttons. And upon clicking on it, all we need to do is simply add here the text that the customer will be able to see upon triggering the frequently asked question of is this product available so they will get an answer you can check out the product list to see the availability of the product and after that we can simply add or rename the button in here to proceed so for instance i'm going to enter here for the next button which is product list and i'm moving on to the other option which is this delivery status we can simply connect this one they could also add another flow in here if you want to However, that kind of flow will be automatically add in different category or flow group in here. So make sure that in creating a flow, you are aware of the different kind of flow group that you are creating. So now going back on this page right here under flow 2, by simply dragging this icon right here on this arrow, we could also choose other kind of actions, integration, content blocks, collect user data, and many more. But at this point, I'm going to choose, for example, this text plus buttons. And we could also decide or do the same process which is by entering here or sending message which is by adding a text in here so basically if the customer tried to ask in a frequently asked question the delivery status this is the message that you will see which is check your status and for the button i'm going to enter here the name of the button which is delivery status so that is just basically how you could add or create a flow on this platform but you could also add another kind of action to continue this flow or integration if you want to and even different kind of content blocks in here that you can also navigate and now that we are done on creating our flow too you could also click this activate entry point button on the top right corner in order to activate the flow wherein if the customer try to ask this frequently asked question they will be able to see all of the flow in here and you could also test it out before actually submitting or activating this kind of flow However, as you can see here, it is currently not available, or at the moment, it is not working. But if you try to do your own flow very well, you'll be able to see here under the chat, the pressing on testing, the result of your flow. But moving on, aside from that, on the left side panel, you could also navigate this kind of live chat, which the purpose of this is to allow users to directly engage with human agent or page admin through the chatbot interface. So you can see in here, we have here the Facebook test user which is as we did earlier, and you could also assign this to a specific person within your team. Now moving on, aside from live chat, we could also navigate here these people, in which it will allow you to identify and segment the user who have interacted with your chat fuel chatbot, and you can view details about each user, such as their name, location, and conversation history. And as you can see from here, you could also add your segment if you want to, by simply creating your condition in here if you want to. Moving on, you could also navigate re-engage, configure, analyze, and also billing if you want to upgrade your account on this platform. But overall, that is just basically how you can use ChatFuel Chatbot. Thank you.